In this video, we're going to be installing one of these barrel locks. You can use them on cabinets or drawers like this or cabinets like this. You can get these barrel locks in different lengths so they can better fit like your cabinets here. You can see that this one's actually a little bit too short for our cabinet here. We're going to be able to make it work, but it would be more convenient if you had one that was a little bit longer. The process would be a lot easier. The lock comes with different sized like actual locks here. Whenever you put this on and you put the lock up against here, the distance between the face of this and the face of the cabinet needs to be the thickness of your door. If we measure the thickness of our door, which is this thickness right here, and then we look over here and put the lock in place, you can see that there's definitely not nearly enough room. So if we look at some of the other locks that come here, this one sticks out a little bit more. So if we were to put this one on, and you see where that is gonna be, if you use this other lock, it actually still doesn't fit. Really the only way to get this to work is to take one of these and actually bend it to get a bigger offset. That's the only way we found to get it to work. So to install this, you drill a hole through the cabinet but since this is a little bit too short, there's no way where the bolt would actually be able to grab. So we're gonna have to drill a larger hole coming from the back. So there'll be a room for the bolt and the washer that goes on there. Whenever you are marking out where you're gonna drill your hole, make sure that you don't just put it right in the middle of the door, drill it without looking to see where this is gonna come through. You want it to probably go below the shelf or above the shelf, you don't want it to hit the shelf. So probably a little bit below is where we're gonna go. I have my hole marked where I'm going to drill and that will work fine. Oh, we have clearance between the shelf and that hole. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a three quarter inch hole all the way through. We're gonna use a thinner drill bit to drill through the center till we get to the other side. So we have a center point to come back to, to meet up with this hole with a little bit of a larger hole. Now I'm going to use this drill bit, which is bigger than this washer. Now we have a large enough hole here that we can put this through, and then we'll be able to put our washer on. Now we're going to put this in place, this washer. It has spikes on the back of it, and whenever you put it on those holes, you want to go up and down. Now we'll put the nut on. Now we'll go ahead and tighten on this nut. The next piece that goes on determines whether it spins a half a turn or a quarter turn. If you put it up onto the lock, you can see this little nib here is what stops it. So we'll spin it a quarter turn and then it'll stop there. Or if you have the one that changes it to half a turn, then that nib stops it right there and then half a turn over right there. This latch won't work, but we might be able to bend it a little bit to make it work. You can see this is it's turning the wrong way, so I'm going to have to take the screw off and turn it around. Now you can see that this theoretically would latch on the door. So you can see whenever we close the door, it's too short, which is what we were expecting. We knew that was going to happen. Now we're just going to try to take this and bend it outwards. Now we'll just bend this out a little bit. It'll give us a little bit more room. So by bending this one out a little bit, you can see that lock closes. The door is nice and stable. That's locked. So this would have been much easier if we would have had the right barrel size, but sometimes you got to work with what you have. We're able to drill out that counter bore to be able to fit the pieces in and bend this out a little bit. We were able to make it work, but just learn from our mistakes. And if you can, and if it's available to you, Get one that's the correct barrel size, it'll make the process a lot easier.